Hey guys, welcome back to Ronis' Math Club. Today's topic is how to find the area of irregular shapes. An irregular shape is a shape that has sides and angles of any size. Today we're going to find the area of irregular shapes. So here's an irregular shape. Uh, to find the area of irregular shapes, you need to divide them up into shapes that you already know how to find the area of. So there's different ways you can divide your irregular shape. Here's how I'm going to divide mine. So I divided my irregular shape into two rectangles and one triangle. Now, I already know the measurements for one of the rectangles, which is we'll call rectangle number one. Now, the measurements are three by eight. So let's find the area for rectangle number one. So rectangle number one. So the area is equal to length times the width. So the length of this rectangle is 8 centimeters and the width is 3. So when you multiply 8 times 3, we get 24 centimeters squared. So the area for rectangle number 1 is 24 centimeters squared. Now let's find the area for rectangle number 2. So we have rectangle number 2. And we, we know that the width for rectangle number 2 is 3 centimeters, but now we need to find the length. So if the total side of this irregular shape is 8 centimeters, and well, one of the side is 4 centimeters, then the other side has to be 4 centimeters subtracted by 8 centimeters, which is also 4 centimeters. So in, uh, in total, 4 centimeters plus 4 centimeters is equal to 8 centimeters. So the length for this rectangle is 4 centimeters. Okay, so for rectangle number 2. Now let's find the area for this rectangle. So we have rectangle number 2. The area is equal to length times the width. So the area, so the length is 4 centimeters and the width is 3 centimeters. So when we multiply 4 by 3, we get 12 centimeters squared so the area for rectangle number two is 12 centimeters squared okay now let's find the area for this triangle now we know that the total uh, base of this irregular shape is nine centimeters and then the other two lengths are three centimeters each so from so three plus three is equal to 6 so this whole way is 6 centimeters so we subtract uh, 9 6 centimeters from 3 centim uh, 9 centimeters and now we know that the base of this triangle is is 3 centimeters okay so the base is 3 centimeters now let's find the height of this triangle okay so if we if, if we know that the height is parallel to this height over here this length which is four centimeters so we know that the height of this triangle is four centimeters so the height is equal to four centimeters so let's go ahead and write four centimeters Okay, so now let's go ahead and find the area for this triangle. So since we know the base and the height. So to find the area of the triangle, so triangle, we have area is equal to one half times base times the height. Okay, so the base is three centimeters and the height is four centimeters. Okay, so let's go ahead and multiply first let's put in the base which is 3 and the height which is 4 now let's go ahead and multiply so when we multiply 3 times 4 we get 12 and when we multiply 12 times 1 half we get 6 centimeters squared as the area for this triangle so T for triangle is equal to 6 centimeters squared so now let's go ahead and uh, find the total uh, area for this irregular shape by adding all the areas together. So we have 24 centimeters squared for rectangle number one plus 
we have 12 centimeters squared for rectangle number two, and we have six centimeters squared for the triangle. Okay, so we bring down the centimeter squared, and then we have four plus two, which is six. Six plus six is 12. Put the two here, bring the one over, and we know that two plus one is three, three plus one is four. So the total area for this irregular shape is 42 centimeters squared. So this is how you find the area of an irregular shape. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.